This video is being brought to you by Kingston Technology. From a huge selection of memory, solid state drives, USB drives, and flash cards, it's guaranteed that Kingston will have something that you need that'll fit the computer that you're working on. So visit Kingston.com today and check out one of the latest products, the Mobile Light Wireless. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Tech Examined. I'm your host, Michael Panetta, and uh, we are going to do something a little bit different tonight. Uh, as you can see, we are going to spec out my new 2012 Mac Mini. Now, I didn't necessarily tell a whole lot of people that I got this. However, you can see the screen behind me, uh, the 27-inch uh, cinema display. I saved up some, uh, some money and uh, got a great deal on that with some help from some friends and uh, we're uh, ready to go. So, with the help of Kingston Technologies, they were kind enough to send me out not one, but two SSDs from their awesome lineup. Now, we got one kind and we have another and uh, they'll work fine together. And actually, they did their best to get me what they could, so thank them very, very much for that. One happens to be a performance and one happens to be more of a business. So what I like about what they sent me is uh, the business version is a more robust SSD. As you come to know that once an SSD fails, that's pretty much it. Because these things run and run and run until they, you know, cut. So there really is no uh, no slowing down with these things. So the, the business model that they provided me will actually uh, be a little bit more robust and uh, may not be as fast... Uh, but you're definitely going to uh, notice the robustness of that. So, They were also nice enough to send me out uh, a total of 16 gig of RAM, which is what you can max this bad boy out to, and uh, we're going to install that. So what I really want to do is just do this real quick, tell you obviously all the specs that I did on the Mac Mini, and uh, get into uh, the rest of the videos, which we're probably going to do about every week. But what I want to uh, uh, start off with the next video is talk about the specs of the Mac Mini uh, as opposed to testing. Uh, what I want to use it for and what a lot of people ask me uh, what they want to use for. Now, we've got the 2009 iMac here, which is the 2.8 gigahertz. I maxed it out at 16 gig of RAM. Uh, it had a one terabyte uh, hard drive in it. I actually kept that in there and added a 256 uh, gigabyte SSD, uh, which I believe was crucial at the time. Uh, I got uh, um, a Mac certified company to do that for me. Took the drive out and actually made it an external. So I don't use the drive all that often, but I did keep it and get a casing for it, just in case you got that occasional disc to do that. So I do a ton of editing, which I'll be using this for right now, on the iMac. The SSD, in my opinion, gave it a new life and it really increased the speeds tenfold. So what I was really looking to do was update to a new computer. And uh, I could have gotten another iMac and end up spending around two grand on that. Or I could get a Mac Mini, which ended up being around eight, nine hundred dollars on that and get the maxed version. And, uh, you know, really, in theory, probably getting one SSD and upgrading the RAM on that probably have been more than enough to really give this a top-notch uh, spec job on it and uh, we'll test that out in the next video which one does better now of course you know we're pitting a 2009 against a 2012 so take it for what it's worth more or less just a uh, you know what people have come to expect from a larger computer as opposed to a smaller computer and I keep pointing over here because this is where I have my Mac mini right now so the videos will consist of that and uh, installing and uh, showing you how to do that and we'll keep them short we'll keep them sweet uh, the one video we will do um, beyond the testing between the two uh, I'll show you how to install the RAM which is probably the easiest thing to do on a, a Mac mini uh, as well as show you how to install uh, the SSDs now uh, with the drive that is in there they have what's called a data doubler and what you would able to be able to do typically is take that and plug in the SSD and you're pretty much ready to go. But we want to take out the one terabyte that I have in there, or 500, I think it's 500, one. I forget it's been so long. And we're going to put the two SSDs in and we're going to save that as an external. 
So I'm going to show you how to do that in that video, and then when we're done, the video following that will be the specs of the original video against this and uh, testing it against the iMac and uh, see how much better it is and if it really will be that machine that I can depend on to do the videos and the heavy editing that I do uh, with the videos, you know, doing cuts and, and bumps and sound effects and all that sort of thing that I that I do to try to spice up the videos and uh, bring to you guys. So that is what we're going to be doing. Again, I want to thank Kingston Technologies for uh, sending me these items to use uh, for this video and uh, try to bring you guys the uh, the best device uh, out there and uh, save you a few bucks in the, in the long run and show you how to do it yourself. So guys, that is it. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Uh, that will be right here. So at some point, this will go live <laughs> and I'll put a, a link down there to go to the next video. So if you're watching this down the road and the links there you can skip to the next video you don't have to wait so that's it for me guys you all have a great night and i will talk to you later see ya